folks. Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew, and it is time for my Cowboy Logic segment. But I'm going to flip the script and talk about illogic, okay? And, you know, there's a guy by the name of Dinesh D'Souza. He actually wasn't born here. He was born in India, and he came over here, saw as most legal immigrants do. They see this country as being the greatest country in the world. They think it's awesome opportunity. And it is. It still is, even while all the issues that we have going on. But Dinesh D'Souza came over here from India, saw the opportunities, took advantage of them. And here a few years ago, when Obama was the president, <clears throat> he had given, Dinesh D'Souza had given like $2,500 or $5,000, I can't remember, to a friend of his that was running for elected office. Well, Obama didn't much care for Dinesh D'Souza. If you watch some of his movies, and they're great movies that tell the truth about this country, not mainstream media movies, but they tell the truth, and he digs into the facts of the founding of this country. Great series. Love Dinesh. As an American that came here, more passionate and supportive of this country than all these liberals that were born here and think it is nothing but a problem. So let me tell you something. Dinesh served prison time because the Obama Justice Department wanted to make an example out of him and punish him for doing a movie that didn't cast Obama in the best light. And how could he do that movie? Because Obama's a crook. Hillary's a crook. They cast him in horrible light because it is who they are. It's just the sold-out mainstream media and all their Hollywood followers go in there and act like they're some kind of saints or something, and folks, they are not. They're the worst of the worst people. Anyway, listen to this. So Dinesh D'Souza serves prison time for donating $2,500 or $5,000 to the campaign. of an, And it is campaign laws. There do need to be an overhaul of our justice system. Things need to be looked at by people that are actually fair and honest and people of integrity, which there is not much of that in Washington at all. But anyway, listen to this. This is the funniest thing. Money from Mark Zuckerberg, multi-mega billionaire Mark Zuckerberg, who uses Facebook as a way to besmirch people that they don't agree with, although it's supposed to be free for anyone to go in and publish things on there. And so I, why we can't sue them, start a class action for harming us, I mean, it needs to take them down. Mark Zuckerberg needs to live in a cave somewhere with no running water. That's where he needs, and the whole group of them need to. Listen to this. Money from Facebook's Zuckerberg used to undermine the election in this new report. Did you know that hundreds of millions of dollars from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg was used to violate election laws? And this is a report by an investigative journalist, which we don't have anymore on any of the mainstream media. No, no. There's one guy from CBS, I think. I mean, the folks, let me tell you something. People that used to, investigative reporters like the old days when they went down, the guys that discovered what Nixon had done. Okay, those guys, they were investigative reporters. Well, today's investigative reporters, the only people they investigate are people that they don't agree with, and that is not what they used to do. They investigated people that were doing things that were not legal or not right, and they'd look at both sides of the aisle, and they kept their personal feelings and opinions out of these things. That's what a free and fair journalist does. We don't have those anymore. All we have today, 95, 97, I think statistically, maybe 96% of them, go out there and they hate Donald Trump and they hate Donald Trump supporters and they hate anyone that says anything favorable about him. And frankly, folks, he's the first non-politician that we've had certainly in my lifetime. And he's done more for this country and everyone in this country. The LGBT people that are out there that say that he hates them, it's a lie. You're watching mainstream media, they, they're lying to you. Those that say that he's anti this and he's anti that, it's all a lie, folks. But you're sitting there watching your little bit of news and you're drinking your Starbucks with your buddies over there, listening to Jack Dorsey and the things that they do. I have to tell you a funny story. <clears throat> we spoke earlier about the 12th Amendment and what will happen on January 6th. Did you know that on Monday when all the electors went and cast their votes, there were also Republican electors in the seven battleground states that cast their votes for Trump. 
That is what's triggering this whole thing. So it was all over the news yesterday. A friend of mine sends this to me, and I looked at that, and I thought, that's the instrument. That's how they're going to go and do this. And it explains what they did and how they did it. So I shared that with a few people on a couple of pages that I manage. And I had, late yesterday afternoon, I, I had yesterday morning gone into Google and, and did a search that said, Republic, GOP electors in seven battleground states vote for Trump. There was pages after pages of news stories, none of them CBS, CNN, none of them MSNBC, none of the mainstream media, but news media from all over the world had these stories about that and the impact that it could have on this election. And it's Trump's chance to do what's right and win this election that he legitimately won, okay? So yesterday afternoon, a buddy of mine saying, where'd you find that story? I said, just go to Google and do this search term. When he did it, nothing showed up. Google banned it all. I did it. Google banned it. Folks, they, you talk about antitrust. They need to be, they need their asses kicked and I'd be happy to have them come here to Texas and I'll take care of it. But let me tell you something. They need to be shut down. They need to be punished and sent in a rocket to Mars with Elon Musk's car. That's my opinion. It's insanity, folks. Thanks for always tuning in to Wildwood's Crypto Show. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, stay tuned. we got the rest of this year and much more fun to come.